Good afternoon and welcome to today's episode of the Arena Sports Show with me, your host, Helga Schutz. Well, we've got a jam-packed program today. We've got hockey, there's boxing, football, rugby and cricket. So let's get started. In hockey news, Namibia's indoor hockey men's team gave a brilliant performance when they won the Sultan Nazrin, Nazrin Shah Cup on Saturday after beating South Africa 3-2 on a penalty shootout. Let's take a look at some of the highlights. And congratulations on Namibia's men on a great performance. And thanks also to Renier van Rooyen for those great visuals. Moving on to boxing, a Namibian cruiserweight boxer, Kaleb Shitana, won his fourth consecutive professional fight when he beat him to Duzi Moyo of Zimbabwe on a fourth round TKO on Saturday. Well, after the fight, I spoke to Kaleb Shitana, so let's hear what he had to say. Well done to Kaleb Shitana. Moving on to football and River Heights Football Academy won the MTC Hopsoul Youth League under 17 title for the second year in a row after beating Ramblers 2-1 in the final on Saturday. After the match I spoke to their technical director Nixon Marcus. Let's take a look. Ecstatic. This was a marvelous fight from our boys. We were one nil down but they never gave up. And they came back and we won 2 1. Great, fantastic, well done. And you also won last year, so you retained the title. It's an amazing achievement, it's even more than last year because, I mean, winning it once is special, but winning it back to back, defending the title, what these boys have done, it's amazing. I don't think it has ever been done in the history of Hobsol football and River Heights. Is right. And Fantastic. And Nixon, yeah, you, you were also in the under-15 final, but you lost that one. Yeah, that was unfortunate. I think the uh, game was fairly balanced. 
But in the end, I think DTS keep it. They have quality players. And once we conceded the 1 0, it was difficult to come back into the game. But also, heads up to the under 15 boys. They won the tournament in Swakopmun, major tournament, youth football. And they came here and went into the Hopsaw final. Great. And our under 19 was uh, play, playing for the third place. They lost that one. But we had three teams in the semi finals and two in the finals. It's a great achievement. An elated Nixon Marcus there. Moving on to rugby, and Wanderers Rugby Club held its annual prize giving ceremony on Saturday, where their national scrum half, Jacques Tron, won the Player of the Season award. I caught up with Jacques, so let's hear what he had to say. I'm very pleased to be able to win this award. Um, second time now, 2021 was the first time, so I'm extremely, 2022, I'm extremely happy and pleased with this. Um, I mean, the love I've got for the club is immense. Um, this is where home is, so awesome to be able to win this prize. Right, and take us through your season quickly. How did it go? Um, Wanderers, uh, I was most of my time I played with uh, with the Velvet Chess, but uh, they actually did pretty well. Uh, Wanderers themselves, they did uh, immense. They came into the finals, and the finals was an extremely tight game. Up until the last minutes, it was either always games, um, and uh, United just uh, edged it through the, in the finals. But um, I'm very proud of Wanderers how they did. I mean, two years in a row, came into the finals, standing a chance to win, that's, that's awesome. Great. Jacques, and as you mentioned, you were with the World Witches at the World Cup. So how was that? Uh, the World Cup experience um, on its own is extremely, extremely privileged to be able to experience that. It's, uh, it's amazing. Um, really, the level in which they, 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 they do and they operate and they play the rugby, is, it's awesome to experience. Um, awesome to be able to learn from the world's best players. Um, so there's, there's nothing much to say except it's, it's an awesome experience. Let's move on to women's football and the new Women's Super League started over the weekend with the defending champions FC Ongos winning both their opening matches. On Saturday they beat Arrows Ladies 2-0 and on Sunday beat Nast 5-0 with Yvonne Cooper scoring a hat-trick. Well I spoke to her after the game, let's take a look. Our game was very good because some of our players were fit, they are coming from the national team and we are doing good. Yeah, and you scoring three goals, so you must be happy. How was your performance, would you say? My performance was up to standard because I'm fit, and I told my players to just give me the ball into space so I can run for the ball and score. And they were doing that way. Right. And also yesterday you beat Arrows Ladies 2-0, so a great start for Ongos. Yes. That yesterday's game was not easy because that also was tough too. They have good players in that team. That's why we were struggling to score, but we managed to score two goals and get them three points. Right, Yvonne, it's still early, but you are the defending champs, so do you think you'll retain the title? Yes, we'll retain the title this year. And you'll score many goals? Yes, I will score many goals. Great, good luck. Moving on to cricket, and VRHS Old Boys beat their arch rivals Wanderers by eight wickets in the final of the T20 Premier League on Sunday. It was a great comeback by Old Boys, who lost by 44 runs to Wanderers in their final pool match on Saturday. In the final, Wanderers elected to bat, but they were soon in trouble when JC Bolt and Nico Davin were both dismissed for one run, and when Micho de Prier was out for 10, they were struggling at 32 for 3 wickets. JJ Smith with 26 runs and Nyasha Nyasha Zaiche with 32 not out revived their innings, but Old Boys maintained the pressure with regular wickets as Wanderers were restricted to 104 runs for 8 wickets. In reply, JP Kotze with 46 runs and Malan Krier with 42 put Old Boys on the road to victory, while Harat Erasmus added 15 not out as they comfortably reached the target for the loss of two wickets with 28 balls to spare. Well, congratulations to Old Boys. Well, that brings us to the end of today's show, but as usual, let's take a look at some of the weekend's action photos. From me, it's goodbye.